reviving it. Yes. Yeah, when he just suddenly... We were like, okay, that's new. Tom Baker was your first when you lived in Germany. Nice. May actually watch Doctor Who again as its tenant. Yep. <laughs> I rarely say hello. I just wait for the right moment to make a daft comment. Hey, daft comments always welcome in here, Hoovian. Don't you worry about that. We, we talk a lot of nonsense in here. We have a lot of cute, heartfelt conversations. We have a lot of silliness. But generally wholesome. Not for the most part, at least. <laughs> we just enjoy hanging out. Got my little regular crew in here, and I appreciate every single one of you for hanging out. Uh, saw a comment recently on Matt Smith's interview, and apparently the writers knew immediately he was a doctor. Um, interesting, the dude that played the gay best friend on sex education. Really? Eric? That's exciting. Hey, Immortal Cryptic, how are you feeling today? Good to see you. Yep, 20 minutes to break now. <laughs> Hey, Mama Lee, how are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, I'm doing good, thank you. I'm a little tired today, but I think I'll be okay. We've made the little horns. Look. Like Jodie's companions more than her. Yeah, I mean, I think there have been instances where people have been very, very fond of the companions. Need to get out of the house more. I think I'm missing daylight. Yeah. I have a 3D TARDIS wallpaper as a background on my phone. So it moves? That's awesome! Krampus is coming along nicely. Thanks, Immortal! I'm, I'm getting there slowly. We've kind of done the little goatee horns today, so they're going to be sort of facing backwards a little bit. But I just need to work out how to connect them properly. Maybe put like a little surround on there so they'll look cool. Then I'll do the face and the little basket uh, on his back. Maybe some chains. Maybe I'm being a little bit ambitious, but you know. During December, Santa and his reindeer fly past the TARDIS. I love that. Um, yeah, I, I feel the same, Plink, going back to um, to what you were saying there. Um, and there's a wreath on the door. That's too cute. I would spend the whole lift journey just staring at the, um, <laughs> the flying TARDIS. Um... go out all in this one say i go for it even if it takes longer i think in my mind i'm just like uh because it's krampus snack tomorrow that i'm like i want to get it done before then but that's just pressure that i'm putting on myself i'll see how we go today um but yes um i i feel the same thing um i think i need a little bit of time outside <laughs> because uh i spend a lot of time indoors um I spend a lot of time indoors with the curtains closed. Um, I work from home uh, four days a week. I go into the office one day a week. Um, and even then I'm under artificial light. But when I'm at home, I'm under low lighting and, um, and curtains. So when I do go into the office, I'm like, it's really heckin' bright in here and I don't like it. All right, let's try putting one on. Just do, just do one. Just do one to start with, Cozy. It's fine. Uh, yeah, curtains closed. It just feels comfortable, and because we've got quite heavy curtains, it keeps the warm in a little bit. Um, doesn't feel so chilly. Kind of glad Elise doesn't have a touch screen like Betty had. My cables and my things for my dash cam and, and whatnot used to accidentally press the screen controls. Oh no! <laughs> There's one thing that you don't want to be worrying about while you're driving. I'm a vampire, hence why I work nights. Yeah, that makes sense to me. There's, uh, there's one in What We Do in the Shadows, where it's uh, a guy who's decided that he works in a convenience store because he doesn't want to, because he's a good, a good person, a good vampire. He doesn't want to steal money and stuff from the people that he, uh, that he drains. So he's like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna steal money. So I'm gonna carry on working nights at a convenience store because I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to be a bad, a bad vampire. Which made me chuckle a bit. Uh, 
There we go. Uh, right, so that is the there. They're still looking like they're going a bit up, but I reckon we could probably get them bent around that way a little bit because they've got the pipe cleaner in the middle. Uh, funny thing is, I named Bessie after a tough old aunt of my dad's because I felt Bessie was a tough polar bear. Turns out classic Doctor 2 also had a vehicle named Bessie. I love that! Bessie's a good name for a vehicle. I love it. Uh, yeah, poor Krampus getting stabbed in the head. I, I will always say, Huvian, that, um, like, please don't worry, because my creations never feel a thing. Uh... There's a lot of people who aren't too keen on it when I start doing the eyes because by then it started to actually look like it's a sentient living creature. And seeing things getting stabbed in the eye, it's not really very fun. Bessie was Pertwee's car, Doctor Number Three. Ah! Getting fluff tattoos, yes. <laughs> uh, referring to the current creation, quality over quantity, good things take time and deserve to not be rushed. Yes. I feel like there's a lot of things that I have made on this channel before that I, if I'd given myself more time, that they could have come out better. And I did that a lot with the slow moving stuff, so the snail dude that we made before. I will always bring the snail out because it is one of my faves. But this was like 12 hours of work. This was three three streams. Um, so yeah, there is a lot of work that goes into it. Um, but again, you know, in my mind, I'm like, do it faster. <laughs> um, <laughs> just describe to your life. <laughs> just stay in the dark, it's fine. Heard recently the modern electric cars are now expected to manage up to 1 million miles in their lifetime, not the 100k that fossil engines manage. That's kind of amazing. Getting fluff tattoos, yeah. Hey pearls, how are you doing today? Good to see you. Oh, 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 oh. So I am going to do what I did with the... Did I do it with the gonkey? Yeah, kind of. So with the gonkey that I made before, so this is... Um, it's <laughs> uh, shout out for KFKK, please, even though he is being a pain in my DMs right now. Love him, but he's being a pain. And he probably can't hear me right now, so it's fine. Um, yeah, the little... Um, almost like the little bits where it blends like the, the head into the horns. So... Um, for some reason, the grey heart shape makes you think of Star Trek 2 when this alien freaks out about getting kicked in what appears to be his knee. Then there's dialogue about some species have genitals in the other areas. Yes! Yeah, the goat has a heart on its face. <laughs> I don't know why. I just think it kind of works. It looks cute. In my mind, anyway. So yeah, if you're uh, if you're not following KFWK, even though he's being a pain, uh, he is the reason that I'm on Twitch. He started his Twitch channel. I wanted to come along and support my friend, who I've known for like twenty something years, because we're both really old. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, go along and say hey. He is uh, he is live uh, usually Mondays to Fridays um, uh, in the AM UK time. Uh, so please go along, and give him a follow. I would really really appreciate it. He's a good person. Old, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if nineteen eighty three is your birth year, Hoovian, then I'm older than you. So. Only just, though. I had my 40th um, just over a month ago. 1980 for me. Ah, it's only a couple of years difference then. Haven't heard from either of them here in, uh, for a while. Hope Cat's okay too. Yep, I saw them both last night. They're doing well. Um, I got to hang out with Cat, Kelvin and Law. Um, uh, you're the monkey. Yeah, I got uh, you're the dog for me, I think it is. 40 next year? Yeah, 40's good. Celebrate it. This neck is definitely not sturdy enough for what I need it to be. So we'll figure out the neck, and then we'll do the rest of the horns, and then we'll do the face, and face and board, and all that fun stuff. Being a pain in your DMs, not message me since I did have a morning on Twitch for him. Oh, it, hey, Aflaf, that is nothing personal. I hope that you understand um, that that is absolutely nothing personal. Um, he's uh, just been, whoops, uh, just been figuring some stuff out. So 
there is absolutely nothing personal against you, I promise. Uh, there are fans, the goat feels quite good. <laughs> You're the tiger, yes, Lady Lee. You're the piggy. Goat acupuncture, yeah, exactly, that's what it is. The goat is fine. <laughs> Yeah, even though Mama Lee, Lady Lee, is definitely vibing to this music right now, I'm feeling pretty festive, I reckon. I still don't want to mess with Mama Lee. <laughs> what you should do is give her a follow on, um, on Twitch, though. If you like cute games like Stardew Valley, but also incorporating some uh, some big swears and screams on Phasmophobia, then uh, I think you should go and check out Lady Lee. You're an ox. I love that, Emery. That's awesome. Plinks the tiger as well. Year of the horse. Today on Goat Makeovers. Yeah, exactly. We're just making you look super fancy, ready for the holidays. Ready for any holiday situation, any party, you can just walk straight in and absolutely own it. Look at you, you're looking fabulous. Nay, <laughs> nay, don't change a thing. Hey, Astra, how are we doing, my love? Almost 4 a.m. here, tempted back up with Oregon Trail. Now you reminded me to get it. Uh oh. I mean, I'm not being, uh, I'm not being blamed on that. <laughs> I hope you're doing all right, Astra. We made the horns today, look! Yeah. Uh, you love the original? The original Oregon Trail? Even though a part of you used to die of dysentery. Oh no! Well, no one wants to die of dysentery, come on now. That's not nice. Are we going back to our cesspit conversation now? <laughs> that was quite the, uh, quite the discussion this morning. That was not where I was expecting this to go. But the amount of times that I stream and then I'm like, I was not expecting that conversation. It's to repeat itself. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Bit tired. Uh, up quite late, 7am-ish, but starting work on Buttercup, the Alpaca. 